Hey friends, we are almost at the end of December. I cannot believe it. This month has just flown by. So I have a project today that I've been wanting to do for a few weeks now. Um, I needed to switch up my doormat at my front door and I thought what better transfer to use than this holiday one where the tree chop where the treetops glisten. Um, unfortunately, it is uh, retired at this point. So, um, but um, I hope this video gives you an idea of um, what you can do with uh, all of the transfers that we have um, in making your own custom doormat. So um, I'm starting with uh, a couple different colors of the ink. I grabbed a couple colors of green and then white. And then um, I grabbed a two different color reds uh, for the words that you'll see here in just a minute. But basically, I'm just kind of combining these colors together for the trees. Um, I, want, I was going for a little bit of an ombre look, and then I'm adding a little bit of white here to kind of look like um, little snow on my treetops there. Um, and I am kind of scraping the bottom of this jar. I am almost out of this uh, white paste here, but um, and you can see I'm just getting that um, those little snow drifts at the bottom. And what you'll see here is I, I'm going to lift up this transfer a couple times to just kind of see how um, this is turning out. Um, you'll see that I kind of mix the colors together. I used my squeegee to kind of pull all the paste together to kind of combine it. Um, and then I decided to go back and add a little bit more snow on my trees just to make them a little more wintry. Um, I guess it's wishful thinking. We don't have snow here um, in Alabama. <laughs> so, um, and then I made sure to use the white also on, uh, there's little snowflakes around this transfer. So I did that. And then once I was done with that, I grabbed red. I ended up going with the candy apple red. And um, as soon as I started um, inking that, I was just super excited because this is going to just look amazing on here. So um, when I go to pull up the transfer, I'm going to pull it up slowly because this mat has a lot of um, a wider weave in the material. So uh, sometimes the paste or the ink doesn't get all the way in there. And I want to make sure that it gets all in the little grooves. And once I pull it up, oh my gosh, look at that. I just love how this turned out. So um, I'm going to take my transfer to the sink and give it a quick wash. Um, now I find that it's easiest to just take it right to my kitchen sink. I use my sprayer to do most of the work. And then I grab my little board eraser and get any extra um, ink that's left on my transfer. And then once I do that, I lay it sticky side up on this little silicone um, mat, or I'm not even sure exactly what to call it, but um, it just kind of rolls up and it, um, it uh, hangs over my sink and I just leave my transfer there to dry. So while that's drying, I'm going to use a dryer to dry my mat. Um, this does take longer to dry than typical fabric um, because it's just a different material. So once that is dry, once I have dried my transfer, I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to add um, a couple more trees. I'm kind of lining that up on the left to kind of go with the trees on the left. And I put the transfer backing paper to cover the rest of my design just in case it was a little bit um, tacky. It wasn't totally dry. I didn't want to um, have the stickiness of the transfer laying on that and um, messing up my design. So again, I'm just going to go over that with my different color inks. And this is where you can have fun with it. You can kind of mix the colors and, you know, do exactly what you want. Add a little bit of color if it's not enough, like I do with the white. Um, and then once I do that side, I'm going to come over and do the right side as well so I can have a couple more trees on my doormat. So 
So once I finished on the left side, I didn't bother washing my transfer. I just moved it over to the right side and very carefully put it um, on my doormat. It's a little bit harder to line up just because the ink is kind of in the way and it's hard to see where you're placing it. So I just did it as best I could and then I got to inking the right side and I didn't have to wash it in between because I used it right away so I wasn't worried about the ink drying out in my silk screen. Um, and again I'm just going to ink that and once I pull it up um, I'm just super happy with how this doormat came out. Um, definitely using bolder colors, brighter colors work much better on this doormat. Um, and then once this is all dry, like I said, it does take a little bit longer to dry. I use my hair dryer to dry it and then I leave it overnight to dry fully. Once I do that, I can heat set it with an iron and I will link um, my other doormat in the description below so you can see how I did that, how that mat turned out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some ideas for some other decor around your house. And happy holidays!